Hello, Cancer. And welcome to the Tarot Room. Cancer, today is December 20th, 2023. And we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now, Cancer. Let's see if it's silver lining. Let's see if it's hidden from you. Let's see if it's coming through. Let's chat about the Cancer Collective. Oh, ah, I saw there was a leg up. Just trying to get ahead in the world, are you? We have go the distance and come to the edge. Okie dokie. Go the distance means you're almost there. So stay with this course. Stay on path. You're almost there. Come to the edge. Just take this leap of faith. This is a very magical card. It's one of my favorite cards. The number's 36. Wrap, wrap, you know, goes to, adds up to 9. You got the power 369 here. You got some magic coming through. So it always reminds me of, um, oh shit, what's the name of the movie? <laughs> you know, the blue people, the blue cats. I can't think of the avatar. Because, you know, remember how they had those little floating islands and shit? And that was a very magical place. So let's see what's going on. We got some magic in the house. We got some special energy here. Come on, let's chat. Let's chat. You can answer for those of you who are interested. I'm open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. Yeah, there's the Ace of Cups. Um, and just remember, Kansa, my readings are $30 Canadian. And I send them in usually three to four business days. All right, we got the Three of Cups. We got some... Cups in the house. We got some happy emotions here. We'll get into this. We'll get into this. And then we have, ah, kind of wands in reverse, eh? At the bottom of the deck, we got the fool. We definitely have, I think you got an idea, a realization, epiphany, something you want to go after here. We definitely want you to chase after this dream, baby. Let's talk about it. What is the Ace of Cups energy here for Kansa? What do they need to know right now? Talk to us. What we got? What do we got here? The Ace of Wands, wow, Six of Pentacles, wow, Ten of Cups, Triple Wow, whoa, we're in blossom here, we got the Seven of Wands, Determination, Hard Work, Resilience, so if you have an idea, if you have Epiphany, like whether it's, uh, for a lot of you I think we're talking about business, but it could be something just moving to a different country, moving to a different province, it could be a relationship, um, it could be a new job, a new career field, a new path, it could be an idea you have for a business partnership or to start your own business, we got some entrepreneur spirit here, um, but however this is applying to you, whatever idea you have, what inkling you have, it's like this, it's like I, I get this feeling, it's like you want to do something, but you just don't know how to do it. Or maybe you're scared or maybe you're worried, but the message here is to do it. Go after it. You got to make things happen for yourself. No one's going to do it for you. The Ace of Wands is passionate. The Ace of Cups is emotional fulfillment. The Six of Pentacles is a charitable card. It's a card of having money left over. It's a card of being, giving back. It's a card of returning, right? It's the principle of giving and receiving. And the Ten of Cups says it's going to make you happy. So if you're nervous, worried, or, or, or if you start a business and it's not working, you're thinking about giving up, this is an energy of do not give up. Continue on this path. You're on the right path. This idea was meant for you, and it will be very successful from what I can see here. Go the distance. Come to the edge. The fool. The ten of cups. The ace of cups. The, the, this is a fresh start. This is a new beginning. This was meant for you, and you only here, Cancer. And they definitely want you to take this leap of faith. And there's the resistance. There's the determination. There's the payoff. Now. This could mean some, not everybody's supporting you. Let's see, it's a relationship. I don't know. There's like an age difference. It's a 20 year gap. Maybe your parents might not support that relationship and they have objections or they have opinions. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Um, that's what I always say. I always respect other people's opinions, but ultimately it is your life. You're the champion. You're the warrior. You're going to do what's best for you. Um, they, they're not, you know, don't, don't let them influence the decisions you're going to make. Cause when other people do that, we tend to not make decisions that are best for us. And, and not everybody knows what's best for us, right? We're all different. We're all individuals. So you know, what's best for you. You know, you got to do this. And what I can see here is they really want you to go after this, um, here at cancer because the three of cups is, well, just what the card says, how it'll affect you by doing this celebrate good times come on do, 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 do. it's a celebration now i know some people go on youtube put that on right now <laughs> i probably will i like to run to that song actually so i listen to it regularly it's a really good song to run to um and in the canada in the winter i gotta sit on a treadmill and i fucking hate that so i like to watch and listen to well anyway who cares the three of cups is celebration you're gonna be happy you're gonna be thankful you're gonna be in that principle of appreciation counting your blessings having fun celebrating having a good time you're going to be very thankful that you did this, that you went after this. Now, here's what they want to say. And this is the advice that they want to give to you here, Cancer. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. And the Knight of Wands in reverse is a very inconsistent energy. It's very hot and cold in and out. You know, one day you're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to do this. And the next day you're like, ah, I'm not going to do that. And you don't do it. So it's just a reminder to make sure that you're consistent, putting in consistent effort, right? If it's a job, well, obviously you, you want to show up every day. If it's a business, you want to work every day. Um, you want to put the sacrifice in, put the time, put the hours in, in order to build that. If it's a relationship, relationships are work, they're effort. You don't just jump into a relationship and then it's just hunky-dory singing kumbaya in the forest, right? You got to put the work in, you got to put the effort in. 
So there will be effort. There will be work. There will be days where maybe you don't want to do this um, and you're tired, but don't forget to take a break if you need it because, <laughs> you know, we need a work-life balance, but I'm not saying like we're 24 hours, seven days a week here, but what it's saying here is with consistent effort, you're going to get what you want. Um, so don't, you know, just be consistent and putting the work in, right? If you're creating, if it's work, you're creating a schedule, you work every day, nine to five, do your nine to five every day. Um, that kind of energy. Cause I, what I see here is, um, a lot of success if you go after this, um, and maybe you've been inconsistent so far, you know, maybe you're not certain or you have worries or you have fears or whatever that is. They just want you to be consistent, put the effort in and your hard work will pay off your cancer. All right. That's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say, baby. We'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides. This comes I need to surrender to, to make this successful prayer. Okie dokie. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and supports will arrive. Okay. Lesson here for Kansa. Success. <laughs> I know that there's no greater goal than to love. And no matter what it is, when you have, you know, if it's business, when you have a spiritual mission, when you have a mission behind your business, you're providing a good service, the finances will come after, right? And when it comes to relationships, well... Everybody kind of wants love. <laughs> Most people want love. Um, okay, what's the energy oracle message here for Cancer? Spirit guides, energy oracle message here for Cancer. What you want to say, baby? What do you want to say? Ah, speak your truth. Ah, appreciation. Okay, one more. Broken heart. Well, golly gee, where the fuck did this card come from? There's yin yang. Okay. So again, we have the power of three, six, nine. Have you ever, I'm, sorry, I get really excited. I don't know why I'm fucking late. Then we have six, then we have nine. What the fuck going on here? So if you've never studied the power of three, six, nine and, and how to use it as a manifestation, this might be a really excellent time for you to do that. <laughs> um, but the fact is, you know, speaking your truth, going after what you want, making it clear, you know, you got to speak your truth even if your voice shakes. You got to go after what you want, even if you're nervous or, 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 or you know, well, your legs shake. My legs were shaking as I was doing that. Maybe you're nervous. Um, but whatever that energy is, it's just an energy of speaking your truth and doing what you need to do. Archangel Gabriel is guiding you, watching you, leading you. Like I said, this is meant for you. Um, this is for you to do. Um, the appreciation is getting into the principle of appreciation. Let's say this is a business and it's been a little bit rocky. It's been a little bit difficult getting it off the ground. And there's been disappointments. There's been frustrations. Get into that principle of appreciation. Value those disappointments, those obstacles, those barriers. Thank the universe for putting them in your way because they taught you something. And when you get into that principle of appreciation, when you wake up in the morning and you're thankful for your blessings, thankful for the opportunities, thankful for the fact that you have this idea and you're going to put this into fruition, your frequency rises and you can get other ideas. You can think of solutions to go outside your box. But it just also changes your perspective and gives you a lot more motivation, right? When you're looking at things from a positive point of view than a negative point of view, you just tend to be a little bit motivated to continue to go on that energy. Um, so this is being thankful for the obstacles and the barriers. And this is flipping the script here. There's also like, I just, I, I, I can't, the numbers speak, uh, the numbers speak. Um, I'm actually studying like Pythagoras and his theorems right now around numbers. I'm really into him. <laughs> That's what I do in my spare time. Cancer is I read books. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a pretty exciting person, um, but I love to read. I'm an avid reader. I always have been. So the numbers have spoken. The numbers have spoken. Um, and they really do want you to go for this. So let me grab, I want to grab, um, yeah, let's grab this tarot. All right, let's get, uh, let's get back to the tarot. Let's just see what other messages your spirit guides would like to pass along to you about this. Spirit guides talk to us about the Kansa Collective. What else you want to say, baby? What else do you want to say? We have judgment in reverse. Oh, really now? Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Very clear to me. Judgment in reverse in the eight of swords is do not doubt yourself. Do not let imposter syndrome or a lack of confidence or self-esteem or limiting belief stop you from making this happen in your life. Because what I see of the tools, the resources, the juice to make this happen for yourself, um, there's always going to be self-doubt, negative thinking. It's, it's ridiculous to think that you're just going to always be happy. Um, that's not realistic. It's ridiculous to think that everything's always just going to go up, 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 up. That's not realistic. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have ups and flows. You're going to have obstacles, barriers, problems, challenges, but don't let those stop you. Look at things from a higher perspective. Pay attention to those details. Be in that proactive energy. When you learn a lesson, you have that disappointment. Okay, fuck. What could I do to avoid that going forward? You know, what can I do to make sure that doesn't happen again? How can I adjust here? How can I, you know, and get proactive in that energy, but don't let negative thinking um, stop you. This is analysis paralysis. This is imposter syndrome. This is limiting beliefs, right? Remember a few things, cancer. Number one, you manifest what you believe. 
Not what you want, not what you're working towards, what you believe. So make sure that the universe, Mother Sophia, the divine knows exactly what you believe and exactly what you want and you're on par. It makes your manifestations go quicker. Number two, like I said, you're always going to have those negative thoughts. Acknowledge them. Don't ignore them because if you ignore them, they're going to fester up inside of you. So acknowledge them, work through them, release them. If the same limiting belief comes through, if the same imposter syndrome comes through, if that same insecurity comes through, find out where it came from. Um, and that's why meditation comes into play. That's, you know, where those blockages are caught in your subconscious. Just retrain your subconscious, retrain and remove that blockage. The best time to retrain your subconscious is in the theta brainwave, which is in the morning or the night, right when you wake up or right when you fall asleep. Just repeat your positive affirmations at those times to retrain that subconscious um, and to let those go. And when they come in, acknowledge them. I crinkle them in a ball and I release them because I was a ball player as a kid. If you're a hockey player, shoot them with the puck. If you're a football player, throw that motherfucking football. If you're a badminton player, hit that fucking birdie. Just get rid of that thought. Acknowledge it, process it, remove it. That's what I have here, Cancer, and that's what your spirit guides want to say today. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope, um, hope you like my style. And if you do, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe because it does help my channel to grow. I thank you, Cancer. I always appreciate your support. I truly, truly do. All right, let's close your reading off today with a final message for you. Spirit guides, final message here for Kansa. What do we got here? You, oh, perfect card to end this reading. You have been criticizing yourself for years and it has not worked. Try proving of yourself and then see what happens. Repeat this affirmation five times this morning. I am perfect just the way I am. All right, that's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.